Oh, we're just leaving the shop. Um, headed out on a, a couple of uh, clean and recodes. Have a good day. I'll make a salesman out of him by the time he's 10 years old. <laughs> So we're here in Victor, Montana on a Sunday. We are gonna recoat yeah. this floor in one day. Ed, thank you for getting up early on Sunday morning. We'll yeah. handle everything. Did you, you took all these thresholds off? Yeah, Ed. Thank you, thank you so much. You'll get a lot nicer job having done that. So the way this process always starts is that we take our buffers, we have a chemical tank on them, and in, in, we, we start with IFT, intensive floor treatment by basic coatings. We're doing a, a four to one mix, putting in approximately one part IFT to four parts water. It's one of the things that we always have to do is find a custodial closet where we have water. So as soon as they get these buffers filled up, we're gonna get out on the floor and start cleaning that floor. Generally, uh, we do it uh, once a year because it's called our annual coats. Um, once a year and some schools, you know, like it twice a year. These guys have buffers, regular side-by-side -side swing machines. They're 20 inch buffers. We're using an SPP pad. Any floor guy is familiar with an SPP pad or some folks call them a maroon pad. They're going across this floor using a small amount of chemical and an SPP pad, taking up the sweat, the blood, the tears, the candy, the soda, the shoe marks, whatever it else over the past year has made its way to this floor system. We're nearing the end of the first part of this process. And you can see Dario coming along with this buffer. There is a certain amount of, of foam, kind of dirty water on the floor. Can we see all the scuffs that are, not even black marks, just scuffs on the floor? Now we're gonna go on the other half of this gym where it's been cleaned and we've run the auto scrubber over it. On this side of the gym, we've done the initial cleaning and we've come back with an auto scrubber and picked up that dirty water and dirty foam. There are things that an annual maintenance coat won't take out of a gym floor. There's a scratch in the floor and that scratch through the finish and into the wood itself. And an annual maintenance coat isn't gonna take that out. I have cleaned about half of this floor with an auto scrubber. As soon as I'm done cleaning the floor, that auto scrubber comes off of the floor we park it in a tiled hallway away from the gymnasium, just in case that machine were to leak. I absolutely do not want that water anywhere close to the gymnasium floor. We clean the floor with a round buffer to get off all the marks, scrapes, dirt. The proper name for this is Sand Dragon. That's what the, the manufacturer calls it. We just call it uh, our square buffer. So normally we put uh, chemicals in here and same thing, you know, but today we're gonna do it dry. And the reason we did that dry is that we have had some challenges in the past. When we use the SPP pad wet, it tends to make a really fine slurry. That slurry dries onto the floor and in spots, and then it can be almost impossible to get that slurry up. Right now, I'm doing a final clean on this floor after the square buffs have been on it. After I'm done here, we're gonna go over it one final time by hand with a tack towel, but on a 7,000 foot floor after we've been over it with the T7 scrubber two or three times, virtually nothing will come off on that towel, which is what we want. The floor will be absolutely clean. This thing even sucks sand out between the boards. It does an incredible job of cleaning the floor.
right up against here. Mm -hmm. Right there. It's the new Bona HD. 24 hours playable. We're here on a Sunday coating this floor. We're going to keep the gym closed tomorrow, Monday. Tuesday, they can have it back. So we're using the Zender finish barrel here again today. I love this apparatus. We're putting finish on. We're in Montana. It's November. It's cold. The heat is on in this building. So we've added a little bit of water relative to the manufacturer's instructions on the bucket. It tells you how much water uh, helps this finish level. Otherwise it tends to, it's so dry in here, it tends to actually get sticky and not want to lay down correctly. But what I wanted to bring up about the Zender finish barrel, it's really easy to add a consistent amount of extra water to the entire amount of finish that you're putting down. The system that we've developed here, I just want to call your attention to how absolutely even the sheen on this floor and it's a very dull, it'd be a matte finish at this. There's no, there's no shiny spots and dull spots. When we used to screen a floor, you'd see uneven spots across the floor according to where you worked a little harder with a, with a screen. This floor has an absolutely even sheen. When we put on these two coats of water-based finish, it is gonna look outstanding. I, and you could, this floor is so clean, you could literally eat off of it. custodial crew pulled off all the thresholds around the floor which was really helpful for doing a nice job. We can look at what kind of a floor system this is. There's a two by three stringer that you can see. They're one foot on center and by looking at the side of this maple I can see that it's 33 30 seconds so just over an inch thick maple. They, they, they probably won't ever be able to do enough sandings on this floor to wear it out but what tends to happen with these two by three fur sleepers is that eventually with any kind of moisture, even seasonal change in humidity, they'll turn just a little bit. That'll lift that pad up off the concrete and the floor will have dead spots. I could almost guarantee that if I talked to the coach at this school, basketball coach, they'd tell me the gym floor has dead spots in it. We did a recoat here today. This is the second coat we're putting on. We prepped this floor, coated it this morning, went and worked on another job for four or five hours, nice and dry. Applying the second coat, we'll have to keep the kids off the floor for one day and uh, we'll give them their floor back.